In an occurrence that is similar to an error, it is possible for a base runner to move to the next base even if the batter does not help him get there. One way that he can do this is a stolen base, but we're going to look at two other ways that involve the defense screwing up rather than the runner himself forcing the issue, and these are the wild pitch and the passed ball. If, for example, while making his pitch, the ball was to slip out of the pitcher's hand, causing him to throw it over the catcher's head to the backstop, the runner would have an easy time jogging down to second base. Because it was the pitcher who threw the ball so poorly, we would call this a wild pitch rather than a stolen base or an error. Similar to this is if the pitcher makes a good pitch, but the catcher misses the ball and it bounces away, then the runner could run to second base, or third base, or wherever he was heading next. This would be considered a passed ball. These might sound like errors. It is the defense messing up and allowing a runner to advance. But because the pitcher and the catcher handle the ball so much, we give them a bit of a break and classify these situations a bit differently. Still, though, the result can essentially hurt just as much as an error would. Like determining whether something is a hit or an error, it is the job of the official scorer to say whether a pitch is a wild pitch or a pass ball. A few other things to note. If there is more than one runner on base, the wild pitch or pass ball is only counted once, even though multiple runners are advancing on it. If the pitch bounced before it reached home plate, then it is automatically deemed a wild pitch. Finally, if a runner is attempting to steal a base when there is either a wild pitch or a pass ball thrown, then in that case it would be considered a stolen base because the runner was going on the pitch. So if you are keeping score, you always have to keep an eye on the runner to see if he is going or not. Wild pitches and pass balls, like stolen bases, can only occur if there is a runner who advances to the next base because they occurred. So if the bases are empty and a pitcher throws the ball way over the catcher's head, it would just be called a ball.